mes amis, je m'appelle Anketa. Vous vous appelez comment? Je suis indienne. Quelle est votre nationalité? Je parle hindi, anglais, un petit peu français. Quelle langue parlez-vous? If you couldn't get a word I just said, you need to study, guys. You need to go back to the videos that I have posted. I think it's been a week. Yeah, I was on a vacation, so I couldn't really post any new content. But uh, I gave you plenty of time to actually go through those videos, just the two videos, and um, be able to talk to me about your name, the languages you speak, and your nationality. And if you got everything that I said, then I would like you to post the answers to those questions, which is, who's up here, come on? Quel long parlez-vous? Quel est votre nationalité? So just post away so that I know that you're actually understanding something. Anyway, today we'll talk about the very general question that we ask around to everybody, which is where do you live? And also the things that we have just discussed, those have been talking about your name, uh, what languages you speak, what is your nationality. Um, so next question is definitely uh, where do you live? So where you're from? Something like that. So how do you ask that? Vous habitez où? That où? It's written over here. It is, uh, it stands for where. So Vous habite, habite is the form of the verb habite, both are written over here, that we use with the, you know, pronoun vous. So, vous habite où? That means, where do you live? So, how do I answer that? I would say, j'habite en Ant à Delhi. So, if you got that, I used two prepositions here. One is en, which you pronoun pronounce as en. But since the next word that I used is aunt, which starts with e, e, I did not say I. So if you watched those videos, you would know why did I call that e and not I. So, so that's why I did not say jabit en aunt. A Delhi. No, I said Jabit on Aunt A Delhi. Because we pronounce it N when there is a, you got that. Anyway, so uh, why did we use two, you know, prepositions? We use a different word for, I mean, in front of a country and a, an entirely different one in front of city. In front of city, we use A. That's the fixed one. And in front of country, depending upon whether it's a masculine or a feminine country, we use O or ON. Both are written over here. So, AUNT is feminine. That's why we use EN, which is ON. Jabit ON AUNT. Not O AUNT. No. Jabit ON AUNT. Um, if I were to say, let's, I don't even remember any masculine country's name right now. I don't. Florida. No, that's not a country. <laughs> say that I live in Mexico. Yeah, yeah. I live in Mexico. I would say, Javid O Mexique. I know there's an E in the end of the word Mexique, but still it's an exception and it is a masculine country. So we'll say Jabit O Mexique, Jabit Onand. The difference is right there. But in front of a city, we'll always use A. So, yeah. And, um, okay, so this was all about where do you live part. And abite verb has these forms according to the pronoun. So we say jabit, read it over there. Um, tu abit, il el abit, vous abite, nous abito, il el abit. Yeah, it, it's written with an ENT, but it's not abito, it's abit. 
that's it setu yeah setu is that's it so anyway those are all the forms and their pronunciation and now let's go to something fun which is let's count from 1 to 10 in french so how do we say that i'll you know i'll just say the word and you can repeat it after me un deux trois quatre cinq six sept huit neuf dix easy enough right and if you couldn't get it the first time you can always rewind and play it again that's the beauty of videos and uh, that's something that we miss in classroom lectures because we can't just go back rewind and play as many times as we like because everybody has a patience level and our teachers are also humans guys don't forget that so you you now know how to you know say uh, numbers and how to ask somebody about the place they are from where to use O and where to use O and um, how to answer the question Vous habite où or tu habite où so you can do all of that plus you can tell about I mean your nationality the languages you speak and also you can tell your name so you are pretty much able to introduce yourself in French language Your constructive criticism and I'll be sure to read and respond to all of that if you find any uh, you know error in anything that I said you can also point that out I would love to know that and in any case just keep on learning French and start you know talking in French that really helps um yeah and yeah one thing you can do right now is you can just uh, google uh, country names in french and um, figure out which names you think are masculine and which ones are feminine and um yeah that's all um of course one thing i would want you to know i mean do is um tell me in comments vous habitez où Drop those comments and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.